Hey everyone, I am back and I've got a great topic for today's video. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so in today's video I want to talk about digestion and the importance of chewing, the importance of stomach acid, the importance of your pancreas and gallbladder and liver and everything that has to do with absorption, nutrient absorption and digestion. So I'm going to start right now, follow along. And it's really, really easy. I'm going to break it down so almost anyone can understand. So here we go. What we have right here is a diagram of the digestive system. So obviously up top here is our mouth. And this right here is the esophagus. This piece right here is colorful and purple. This right here is your liver. And this green thing right here, this is the gallbladder. I'll go into the details of the gallbladder. I just wanted to explain what this is. This right here is your stomach. This is your pancreas right here. This large piece, that's your large intestine. And on the inside here is your small intestine. And the junction where the stomach meets the small intestine, this piece right here, that's called the duodenum. Some people say the duodenum, but I call it the duodenum. All right, so I, I'm going to explain the process from when you're consuming your food to chewing and everything that follows. So, when you chew your food, in your saliva you have amylase. That's the first digestive component. That's an enzyme and it's called amylase. And what amylase does is it breaks down carbohydrates. What's a carbohydrate? We've done this before. Carbohydrates are you know, bagels, potatoes, anything starchy, it's a carbohydrate. Donuts, chips, pizza, that's a carbohydrate, okay? So carbohydrates get broken down primarily by amylase. Where is amylase found? First of all, in your saliva. So when you chew up your food, one of them being carbohydrates, amylase breaks it down and it turns into bolus. Bolus is what the broken down component is of food. So what it's going to do is it's going to travel along your esophagus and I didn't uh, label it but it's called the LES, lower esophageal sphincter and that's like a valve that allows food to go down from the esophagus into the stomach but doesn't allow food or anything to go up. And it's really cool because your stomach has a mechanical and chemical process to churn and mulch and break down the foods into more smaller, more absorbable components. So the stomach breaks down the food and it's really cool because the stomach has hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is actually secreted along the whole lining of the stomach in order to break down proteins, um, fats to a certain extent, you know, carbohydrates, uh, vegetables, all of those things that need to be broken down more and more. The main, main ingredient that does that is hydrochloric acid and it's found in the stomach. And that takes roughly around almost two hours for your food to get broken down into smaller, smaller pieces and then it enters the duodenum into the small intestine. But there's a whole bunch more that really, really happens. Hydrochloric acid it's kind of like a street signal, green, yellow, and red. And what it does is it signals to the pancreas and it signals to the gallbladder to release their digestive enzymes. So the pancreas, it releases or it secretes amylase, protease, and lipase to break down those foods even more and to allow for those enzymes to break down and allow for those nutrients to be absorbed in the small intestine. Following that, or in addition to, the gallbladder gets signaled by the hydrochloric acid to release its bile. Now, bile is actually produced in the liver. It's not produced in the gallbladder. The gallbladder simply is like a warehouse. It's a housing facility for the bile. And what bile does, it emulsifies and it breaks down fats. So, the hydrochloric acid is very, very important to break down the foods more and more and more. It signals to the pancreas and it signals to the gallbladder to do their job to release more enzymes and components to break down the food to enter the small intestine for nutrient absorption. That's where all of the minerals, vitamins, 
proteins get broken down into amino acids for our bodies to deliver them to our muscles, our brain, our heart, other organs and tissue for them to work properly. Now here's where it gets really important. If you do not have enough stomach acid, hydrochloric acid, it can't signal to the pancreas or the gallbladder to release their digestive enzymes to release its bile to further break down the food. Now what happens if that's the case? Carbohydrates for one, when they reach the small intestine, they actually start to emit a gas, nitrogen and hydrogen. Now those gases are very, very unpleasant for us if we've got poor digestion. And what happens is this gas starts to bubble up, bubble up, bubble up, more and more and more. And the lower esophageal sphincter sometimes opens up if it's inflamed or if it's agitated. As a result, you're going to get gas. You're going to get acid reflux. You're going to get heartburn. And people think that, oh, I've got too much stomach acid. I've got, I've got to you know, get rid of my stomach acid by taking Tums or antacids. But that's not the case. You have poor digestion. And because you have so little hydrochloric acid or because you're chewing your food so, um, not enough or you're drinking lots of milk or water or pop with your food, the hydrochloric acid gets actually watered down and as a result the pancreas doesn't get signaled because there's not enough hydrochloric acid. The gallbladder doesn't get signaled so it doesn't release enough bile as a result of not enough stomach acid. So guess what happens? Because you don't have enough stomach acid, these digestive components don't happen. They don't start to break down. They don't break down this acidic chyme. Chyme is also the further down breakdown of bolus. And so what happens is there's, there's some gases that emit from those carbohydrates because they're not being broken down f enough or fast enough. So the gas emits up the esophagus and it pushes up what little stomach acid that you actually have and for that little stomach acid that you have guess what happens you've got acid reflux or you've got heartburn indigestion why because you don't have enough stomach acid let me explain that one more time because you don't have enough stomach acid it can't signal to the pancreas and the gallbladder to release their bile and digestive enzymes as a result, you've got some acidity happening here and you've got some gas being emitted by the carbohydrates which then causes gas and gives you acid reflux. Now check this out. The pancreas, its job is also to release bicarbonate. Bicarbonate is actually meant to neutralize the acidic chyme. Because this is such an acidic environment, with all of this chyme is very, very acidic, it needs to be uh, neutralized in order for it to travel down past the duodenum into the small intestine for nutrient absorption. So the pancreas, with the proper amount of hydrochloric acid, it signals to release bicarbonate to neutralize it. So it's really quite fascinating because right here you've got so much stomach acidity and as this junction, as it reaches the du duodenum, it's now being neutralized right away by the pancreas by the, car uh, by the bicarbonate. So if that doesn't happen, if the bicarbonate doesn't neutralize the chyme, what is the result? What happens? You've got acidity within the small intestines of the chyme, which means all of those nutrients which have been broken down, they're not being absorbed properly because the digestive enzymes and the bile aren't e there enough to break down and absorb. Plus, you've got some huge amounts of acidity in the small intestine. Now, think of acidity being like a fire. It's hot. We don't want that. Your body starts to get agitated and aggravated and inflamed. So the result of inflammation and agitation and acidic chyme is your body wants to eliminate that as fast as possible. So what does it do? It starts to secrete water and it eliminates as fast as it can. It goes through the intestine, into the large intestine, and boom, it gets exited as diarrhea, or IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. And that is a constant result of agitation, inflammation, diarrhea. So what's happening is you're not getting much nutrients being absorbed because you've got this acidity. Your body's trying to eliminate it as much as you can, as, as fast as it can. If you continuously eat foods that are allergens, if you continuously 
practice poor chewing and poor digestion by drinking lots of fluids while you eat, you're always going to continuously have this acidity because the pancreas and the bile aren't being released enough to neutralize and break down that acidic chyme. I hope this is making sense for you. Because you've got that acidity, you're not absorbing the foods that you need, so you're getting diarrhea. And on the other end, on the way back up, because you don't have enough stomach acid, the pancreas and the, and the gallbladder aren't releasing enough enzymes and bile to break down the food to prevent that gas from happening, to prevent that gas from going up creating your acid reflux or your heartburn or your indigestion. So just for you to understand, don't take Tums if you've got heartburn or acid indigestion. You're, you don't have proper digestion. That's the problem. So the first thing that you can do is chew your food properly. Let that amylase coat and break down all of those carbohydrates as much as you can. The more you chew your food, the less your stomach has to work to break down with the chemical process and the mechanical process to break it down into the small intestine for them to do their job. But also you're doing your pancreas and your gallbladder a big favor by chewing your food properly so the pancreas doesn't have to release all of its digestive enzymes so the bile, or so the gallbladder doesn't have to release all of its bile because hopefully you shouldn't be eating fried foods and you know, really, really fatty foods because that's what bile does, it emulsifies those fats. In closing, stomach acid is very, very important. I'm not going to go into further detail of why it's so important. I'm not gonna go into detail about intestinal permeability. I'm not gonna go in detail about, you know, other things. Stomach acid is so, so important for not just proper digestion, but it's very important for many, many other things. And if you have any questions or if you want to contact me, you're more than welcome to. I've got my website right there, bodiesbybrandon.com, and you can hit me up. I'd be more than happy to help. Just really, really quick, in closing, your mouth, you gotta chew your food properly. You've got amylase, it breaks down food, first and foremost, at the beginning. This is your esophagus. Food travels down into your stomach. It needs to have a lot of hydrochloric acid. You need that acidity to break down food. And you need that acidity to signal the pancreas and signal the gallbladder to release their digestive enzymes and bile to further break down the food for it to go into the small intestine for nutrient absorption. This is where all of those vitamins minerals get absorbed, dispersed into your body for absorption, okay? And then obviously, you know, finally, once it goes into the large intestine, there's a little bit more absorption happening there, and it gets excreted as feces. So support your stomach, support your gallbladder, support your pancreas with proper chewing. Uh, you can supplement with hydrochloric acid and pepsin. That will help uh, promote stomach acidity in your stomach and you can also take digestive enzymes, pancreatic enzymes to help uh, support your pancreas in order to secrete more and more enzymes to break down those foods. For those that don't have a gallbladder you can take bile salts to support the emulsification of fats and uh, yeah that's about it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a lot to take in, but it is so rudimentary. It's so easy and fundamentally easy to understand. Just chew your foods properly. Don't drink lots of fluids when you're eating. Let your stomach do its thing. Secrete hydrochloric acid. Support your pancreas. And uh, yeah, you're going to have good digestion. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button down low. Hit the subscribe button down low. I don't put out a lot of videos, but I try to as much as I can because I want to share this information for all of you guys, and it's really, really important. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.